to the marriage of Georgia and Bert. You look gorgeous. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, so I, first, before I start, I want you to know that both the bride and the groom feel very grateful to you all, their beloved um, family members and close friends for being here with them today and bearing witnesses to the natural progression of their relationship as today they become husband and wife. Thank you for traveling from so far. How do you like New York so far? You having a good time? Yes. The weather is nice, at least. So welcome. Uh, we give thanks for Georgia and Bert, for their beautiful hearts and willing spirits, and for the example of love that they embody here today. The two of you have been on a long journey, and today you make a very important decision. Today, officially, you decided to be each other's best friends, companions, lovers, confidants, and all things that embody this institution of matrimony. And we who gather here with you rejoice with you and for you in the new life that you now undertake together. Before we go on, I would like to take a minute of silence to bring to mind all the loved ones who couldn't make it today, who couldn't travel, and also those who have passed away. Even though they're absent physically, we know that they are with us in spirit and they help us bless this union as well. Y ahora antes de continuar, quiero darle la bienvenida a la familia de Bert. Eh, gracias por venir hoy aquí, gracias por apoyarlo a, a Bert en, en su decisión, en este paso tan importante de la vida. Treat yourselves and each other with respect and remind yourself often of what brought you together. Give the highest priority to the kindness and the tenderness that your connection deserves. When difficulty or fear assails your relationship, remember to always focus on what is right between you two, not just what seems wrong. In this way, you can ride out the storms when the clouds hide the face of the sun, keeping in mind that um, if each of you takes responsibility for the quality of your life together, it will be marked by abundance and delight. So, I want you to take a deep breath. I hope you're not as nervous <laughs> anymore. You have known each other for a long time, for six years now, from the first glance of acquaintance to this point of commitment. At some point, you decided to marry. From that moment of yes to this moment of yes, you have been making promises to each other, agreements, right, in an informal way. All those conversations uh, that you had riding in a car or during long walks or sitting at a, in the kitchen or having a meal, all those sentences that began with when we are married and continue with I will and you will and we will, all those late night talks that included someday and somehow and maybe all those promises that were unspoken matters of the heart, all those common things and more, are, um, are the real process of a marriage. The symbolic vows that you're about to exchange today are a way of saying to one another, you know all those things that I promised and hoped and dreamed? Well, I meant it, every word. Look at each other for a, in this moment, and I want you to remember today. Very good, thank you. <laughs> As if it was re rehearsed. Perfect. So, George, I'll invite you to join your right hand with Bert's right hand. Yes, yes. right and right and left with left. Okay. This forms an infinity symbol which symbolizes your love, which will go on forever. 
And as you join your hands together, you join your hearts as well. And I'll ask you to look into each other's eyes. These are the hands of your best friend. They are holding yours on your wedding day as you promise to love each other today, tomorrow, and forever. These are the hands that will work alongside yours as together you build your future. These are the hands that will passionately love you and cherish you through the years and with the slightest touch will come for you like no other. These are the hands that will hold you when fear or grief wrecks your mind. Mm. These are the hands that will give you strength when you need it. May these hands always reach out with love, tenderness, and respect. May these hands continue to build a loving relationship that lasts a lifetime. And now with eyes locked and hands linked, this ritual is a beautiful symbol of the union of two hearts, two lives, and two souls. Before I go on, uh, thank you too. You were a little bit of a good part of this coming together. So good job. Father knows best. Yes. Yes. He's a good guy. Um, I got to know the two of you in all this time, all this preparation, and I feel really honored and very happy to be part of your uh, coming together thank as you. a union. Today, symbolically, you become a family, the two of you. Mm -hmm. You become one. So you're not just I, but you are we. And um, in a moment, you will exchange your wedding vows. No other human ties are more intimate, tender, and loving, and no other vows are more sacred or important than the marriage vows that you're about to recite. And um, who wants to begin? Bert, sure. would you start? Sure. See? Okay. So Bert, please repeat after me. What can I have? I, Bert, take you, Georgia. I, Bert, take you, Georgia. As my friend and love. As my friend and lover. Beside me and apart from me. Beside me and apart from me. In laughter and in tears. In laughter and in tears. In conflict and tranquility. In conflict and tranquility. Asking that you be no other than yourself. Ask you that to be no other than yourself. Loving what I know of you. Loving what that I know of you. Trusting what I do not know yet. Trusting what I do not know yet. In all the ways that life may find us. In all the ways that life may find us. So do you officially take Georgia to be your lovely wedded wife? I do. Very good. And do you, Georgia, do you repeat after me? I, Georgia, take you, Bert. I, Georgia, take you, Bert. As my friend and love. As my friend and love. Beside me and apart from me. Beside me and apart from me. In laughter and in tears. In laughter and in tears. In conflict and tranquility. In conflict and tranquility. Asking that you be no other than yourself. Asking that you be no other than yourself. Loving what I know of you. Loving what I know of you. Trusting what I do not know yet. Trusting what I do not know yet. In all the ways that life may find us. In all the ways that life may find us. Yeah, very good. Very good. And now, do you have the rings? Oh, you do. Very good. So, the two rings which you are about to exchange are unbroken circles that symbolize never-ending and everlasting love. These are visible symbols that represent the inner commitment that you had just made to each other in your, in your hearts. They are for everyone out there to know when they look in your hand, they will know that someone special belongs to you and that you belong mm -hmm. to someone special. Wear them with pride and allow them to remind you often of how blessed you are. Because indeed you have been very lucky and very fortunate in this life because you have found each other. Finding true love is not that common nowadays and having a person who wants to spend the rest of their life with you is even less common. So every time when you're washing your hand, when you look at it, just allow it to remind you of today, remind you of how good you have it, the good person mm -hmm. that's walking life next to you. And I speak for everyone present here today when I say it is our wish that as you wear your rings, your life together will be filled with love, happiness, prosperity, and health in all the things that you start together. And now, uh, Georgia, you will start. As you place the ring in Bert's finger, left hand, please repeat after me. Bert, I offer you this ring. Bert, I offer you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. 
and commitment. And commitment. With this ring, with this ring, I marry you. I marry you. Mm. And Bert, as you place the ring in her finger, please repeat after me. Georgia, I offer you these rings. Georgia, I offer you these rings. <laughs> as a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. And commitment. And commitment. With this ring. With this ring. I marry you. I marry you. You got it. I didn't feel like I didn't feel like already. And Bert, you have spoken the words and performed the rites which unite your lives. It is my legal right and greatest privilege to now officially pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. <laughs>